Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN, you go into newsletters, it's on the right hand, you hit newsletters, it's on the right hand side. You'll see the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199. And you can get it for one year for which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you get Basil's newsletter, you're not only going to get a great newsletter, you're going to get an amazing education. And Basil, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. It's not what's going up. It's what's going down right now, and the Dow is down <laughs> almost 500. Yeah. So you know what's interesting? You know, for, for about um, quite a few weeks now, I've been saying to you, I've got some – I'm going to go through this real quick because there are a couple okay, of things cool. I want to go through. So number one is I have a technique that I've developed over the years, just actually decades, where I look at something and I think internal low, and then that's where all the technicals come together. And later on, you get the residual low, and it could be a little higher, it could be at the same price, it could be low. And think of it as an earthquake, where you get an earthquake, and then that, and then you get the uh, aftershock. And the aftershock can be much worse, it could be much less, but there's an aftershock. So I've always notated that and said, the market tends to, at a certain point, ignore bad news. And then at a moment, it's suddenly everything that was just the day before was fine, becomes an issue. So about 11th of November, I said um, to subscribers, and I actually showed this in the in the den here at a certain point in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour at 10 in the morning. I said, I think we're in for a very choppy period. And this choppy period says to me that we're probably making what I call a dark news cloud cover, meaning that the news is going to start impacting the market to the sen in the sense that there will be a negative response. So we've been very choppy. So I wanted to show you this chart and then to show you some of the technicals that I like to use. Uh, let me see if I can get to it. I'll get this out the way. So peak D, the fourth highest peak in the Chapman Way is, is where we always get a little bit cautious. The Dow at 34,595 made a peak D. The S&P at uh, 4,000. Oops, am I going to hit the wrong thing? Yes, I did. Let me just do this quickly. S&P. There it is. Made a peak D, oh. so, and the uh, and that's very interesting because it was waiting and waiting, and waiting, and finally it didn't. Now look at this big ugly bar, but the nine period moving hasn't crossed under the 14. So so far that's a good sign. Same with the Dow, but it's under the the, the uh, orange line, which is the 200 period moving average. But look at the weekly chart. You see this weekly chart. I spoke to you for quite a while saying there's what I call an inside track repellent zone. It's like a little mini channel. And every time the price got up to it, it couldn't close above it. The, the Dow did, but the S&P didn't. Look at the way the Q. Right. Q no, I, I, your show yesterday, I heard you saying that. Right. Yeah. Right. And look, the same thing now with the Q. Now, look at this. Uh, this is a chart, a black background chart. Okay. And I've got a long term, just one one line is called a trend line, and two yeah. lines, if they go parallel, are called channel lines. Look at this one line. Now, I haven't drawn the channel wave inside track uh, a propellant line because it's above it. That's the Dow. But look at everything else. Look at right. the S&P underneath. Look at the QQQ underneath. Hasn't even got there yet. Look at the IWM. Just went a fraction over, and now it's under. Look at the IYT, which is the transportation index. Went right up to it and then pulled back. So those are things that I like to look for. Easy technical things that I show subscribers that you can do. You take a trend line, you just join the outer outer limits of the bar of the wick, and you see where it takes you. And you can see once we start to trade decisively above this, say in the transportation index or any of the other indexes, not only does it help the daily, it help the weekly chart, and we have to wait for that. So one of the things I say to subscribers is, uh, we, we've, uh, we are still long, we're still three times long the Dow, because we got in at such a nice low point, but we're being very cautious. We've raised quite, raised quite a lot of cash, and we are looking to put money to work, because I think that there are some areas that are doing very, I mean, if you look at Caterpillar, yep, Caterpillar's had a big move down from this arch formation, uh, from the double top of 239. I spoke to you the other day. I said, isn't it amazing how many stocks, even the triple digit stocks, can go within pennies of the previous high? 
and look Caterpillar went 239.85 then 239.63 and I spoke to you about Exxon the same thing and I said and, and I've been having people calling to the Tiger Traditions Hour asking about Exxon and the oil stocks and I said no I think I think oil's coming down look at Exxon it's gone sideways distribution and that 140 level it hit about six times over 10 sessions almost to the penny and now look at that. It's almost a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. So I think this is a moment of caution. We've got to be very careful. But I, I would say you should start building up a, a kind of a, a portfolio that you would like to get of stocks that you haven't got. You can use some of these techniques. Look at this arch formation in Exxon. It made a beautiful, I call it bar symmetry from the left side to the right side. I've got a technique that I call the chap wave inside wedge target resistance as uh, target support line because it's pink on the way down and it says that this is the line that should be supported and when it breaks it's going to go lower and my target is 100 and my target is 98 dollars by the uh, 15th of december based on this particular technique so i like to show that i show that in my in my daily uh, my tiger technicians hour i show how we measure the moves on the left side to the right side i show these cup formations the arch formations and how they work so it's a uh, I like to make it a very ongoing and active hour when I'm doing my show. For sure, yeah. You know what I heard today, Basil? So check this out, folks. This is pretty wild. This is on Bloomberg, like at about 6 this morning. They had a guy on, and that's what their question was. Is, hey, man, the Dow Industrials has, you know, led this market. He says, yeah, well, he says, if you check every recession, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> and it's like, okay, what? you know, that, so what that, if a I recession's coming... The Dow goes ahead, then it give, everything it's gives it up. the last one to make its high, yes. Yeah. So that 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 is all true. At the same time, uh, people have to recognize this has got nothing to do with the Dow Industrials. It has maybe two or three cyclicals like uh, uh, Boeing. But really, it's the Dow 30. It's a mix of every single sector. I actually like it because of that reason. But, uh, yeah, we've got to be aware that... Uh, the Dow is only, I, I'm always fully aware it's only 30 stocks, but I love the makeup of the 30 stocks. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I, I get yeah. it. I mean, you know, you can make the argument that, well, you know, it used to be trains and planes, okay, and the bottom line is that now we know that trains and planes is, you know, the Internet and technology. As part of the Dow theory, yeah. correct, yes. Right, right. Yeah. So it's going to be an interesting uh, few days because we're getting close to uh, some uh, p support levels that need to hold the Dow as 32,500 as 200 period exponential moving average. Uh, there are a lot of things going on here that says uh, be, be aware that the, the, the if you look at the single move A, uh, just one leg from the low that was made at 28,660 in middle of October. This is still just the leg A. We've got the all, all week to say, does it go above 34,595? If it doesn't, we finally got a leg, a peak A in the daily chart, the weekly chart. I like the Dow. I must say, the technicals are starting to improve. So oh, that's good. Uh, that's, yeah. that's good. It's, it's, there's, no, there's no doubt it's pretty tricky here right now. I mean, because the reality it is, is, is. is that, uh, you know, it's like you're going south, you know, I mean, it, it, well, the, the weird thing about this recession, folks, that everyone talks about, is like the whole world's talking about recession. It's like, okay, is that the fact? And there's a, there's another fact out there that there's never not been a recession when 87 percent of the curve basically absolutely. is you know is inverted, which we inverted, have. Inverted, yes. But you the know? other way they look at it is that if you look at the semiconductors. They've been in a recession for over a year or about a year. Right. You know, all these major turndowns in, in some of these uh, sectors, they've essentially uh, had a recession. Uh, I, mean, I don't know how much more it's going to go, but that's the way I look at it. So yeah, no, no. It's, it's yeah, listen, man, we, we know chips are commodities. I mean, that's that's the reality. Do you know what I mean? It's, you Absolutely. Know, they do great. They like gold or you know, anything else is a commodity. They're okay? like the oil of the 21st century because everything needs chips now. There's no doubt. To use oil. Yeah. There's no doubt. Listen, folks, get over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters and you're going to see the opening call right on the left-hand side. Hit that button, subscribe. You're going to love it. And Basil, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Have a great one and a safe one. You too, Tom. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.